taking live shots from the House of Representatives where the Committee on Oversight and Government Reform is grilling the Treasury's Inspector General on the controversy involving the IRS and politically active non-profits. At the beginning of this latest hearing on the controversy, Chairman Darrell Issa announced a few simple rules that he wanted everyone to observe. I certainly want to make sure that the smear stops here today. It is important that we understand that words matter, nuances matter, and that we not go one step beyond what we know. Words matter, nuances matter. I couldn't agree more. And yet, there were two sets of people who seemed determined to ignore Mr. Issa's request. First, his fellow Republicans, who still seem convinced that there is indeed some grand and complex conspiracy, one that begins at the White House and ends with the IRS targeting conservatives. How dare anybody suggest that we're at the end of this? This is the beginning of this. We have to make an example of it. We need to get to the bottom of it. And quite frankly, I'm tired of this administration having to keep having these hearings. We've done it on Fast and Furious. We're doing it on Benghazi. We're doing it on the IRS. We're doing it. Why? <laughs> yes, well done, Mr. Chaffetz. But it was also Mr. Issa himself who failed to recognize how words matter and how nuance matters. When defending himself against the charge that he directly implicated the Obama administration in the IRS scandal, he redressed Democratic Congressman Elijah Cummings by using the word boy. I'm always shocked when the ranking member seems to want to say, like a little boy whose hand's caught in the cookie jar, what hand, what cookie. I've never said that it leads to the White House. Joining us now is David Korn, Washington Bureau Chief for Mother Jones Magazine, and Jonathan Capehart, a political writer for the Washington Post. John. Uh, after a break, Mr. Issa apparently apologized publicly, but how do you interpret what he said about Mr. Cummings be, being like a boy with his hand caught in the cookie jar? Um, not just a boy, a little boy. I mean, look, Daryl Issa should know that you know, putting the words boy, little boy, in referencing them to a black man is problematic. But when that black man is the ranking member on your committee, it's beyond problematic. It, 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 it's myopic. It just shows that Daryl Issa is not only out of touch in terms of what his committee should be doing, but it just shows he's out of touch just generally, culturally, it seems. Yeah. David, is Daryl Issa determined to become the most repugnant politician in the history of American politics, or has he always, already achieved that feat? That's a pretty high bar, so I'm not sure if, he, if he's even within reach, given the long history of repugnancy. Really? You don't think but, he's but, as bad as some of his predecessors? Uh, well, I'm not saying he's not as bad, I'm not, but there, there, he still has, I think, a way...